All right, buddy, you get in there with your dumbbell seal rose. Come on, dude, let's get it. Ow! Whoa. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Kyle, this is Kaizen DIY Gym. In this video, we're gonna take a look at DIY seal rose. Before we jump in, it's time for some news. Home Gym Con is less than two months away. It's happening in French Lick, Indiana, April 14th through the 16th. I'll be there with a DIY booth and I'm so looking forward to meeting everyone from the community. And if you haven't done so yet, please check out my podcast, Do You Even Lift Bro, where we talk to different people from around the world about home gyms and DIY and lifting and just life in general. You get a little bit of behind the scenes on what goes on over here at Kaizen, it's super fun. And the last thing, I've been releasing products, bro. I've got the Kaizen Jammer Arm Adapters, the 5 8 inch to 1 inch pin adapters, the belt squat collar for landmine belt squats, and most recently, the pivot pad, which was a collaboration with Abmat. Super cool stuff. I'm so proud of these products, and I have a lot more in the pipeline for 2023. So we're gonna start off with the sketchiest setups and I'm actually amazed at how many of these freaking setups there are. I mean, it's all just like a bench propped up on stuff that is not very secure at all. I mean, this is probably the most common, a flat bench on top of plyo boxes. Uh, yeah, a lot of these uh, cinder blocks, it seems sketchy, dude. I don't know, like these people are going at it like so confidently, but man. I mean, like, your body weight shifts forward just a little bit and it all goes tumbling down. No, thank you. That, dude, no. I mean, what's going on? This guy has a power rack. Lay a board across the pin and pipe safeties right there. I mean, there you go. It's so much more stable, dude. So much more stable. The issue I see with a lot of these is the range of motion. If you're in a position where the bar is sitting on the ground, you can reach. You have to be at just the right height to be at full extension with your arms. Any less than that and you have slightly less range of motion. Any more than that and it's like out of reach. So it gets kind of tricky. Now this I like. I, I still don't like the cinder blocks, but using a trap bar is almost like using a camber bar, which is good. Extra range of motion. Good idea, buddy. I like this one a little bit better because at least he's only sitting on a single cinder block on each side rather than double stacked like the last guy. This again, another bench on top of plyo boxes. Like this could be like the other guy, like when he goes and leans on it, it just slides out and he eats shit. I mean, ah, I wouldn't risk it, bro. There are other ways to do it. If this is all you have and you, you just wanna go for it, then pff, go, bro. I mean, worst case scenario, he's not gonna die, but man, I don't know, I wouldn't trust it. This guy's got the full setup. He's using a Smith machine, locks that into place, <clears throat> takes the bench and actually puts the leg of the bench over the bar, which is pretty secure, I would say. Then does a sort of incline on the bench, which basically makes the bench level this, and then he locks his legs in. There we go. There you go, buddy. This seems pretty good. Like I'm, I, I could go for that. I don't have a Smith machine. A lot of people don't have a Smith machine, but you could see that working with a bar and a power rack. Here's another similar setup. You can't really see the back of the bench, but I can only assume that it's doing something around the same. Like the, the one side of the bench is propped up. So that way when the bench is in an inclined position, it's actually laying flat. This one is definitely a lot safer. It's a plyo box and his feet look like they're kind of being supported or uh, he's got his feet under a uh, weight rack. So it's not going anywhere. With his top of his body hanging over, it's not like a full support like a seal row typically is. So you probably got to engage the core a little bit more. That works. It's safer. It doesn't seem as sketchy as the other ones. That's for sure. I like this, these open trap bar hacks with seal rows are pretty smart because you know, like you don't have to worry about the bar hitting the bench. So you don't necessarily have to go directly underneath the bench. The, bro, with the, with the buckets, dude, are you serious? That's so sketchy. And the amount of weight that he's lifting, like his body weight, the bench, and then the bar and the weights on those buckets, I'm surprised those buckets don't collapse. Crazy. So this guy has a bench on top of a bench and on top of a stack of weights. Again, sketchy, bro. I don't mean to call you out. You're a nice guy and everything. Don't get mad at me with all those muscles, but shit. 
dude. Oh, so we're getting sketchier with everyone is getting sketchier and sketchier. What is this? You got a ladder on each side and a board in between? Bro, is ah, like what's it gonna take for that to slip out and then you just like slam your face on the concrete? No, thank you. Yeah, you just, uh, I guess the key is being very still. Just lock your body up tight, don't move, don't wiggle, no struggling. You have to be very calm and controlled and then sure it will work. But that, that board is already bowing. <laughs> so I kind of love this one. I know it's like probably the sketchiest one ever, but I kind of love it. It reminds me a lot of those like COVID pandemic gyms. It's just like two stacks of shit. Okay, this one's cool. Like still sketchy, it's still a flat bench on plyo boxes. But uh, if we go back to the beginning, he actually, he uses the plyo box to rack the bar which like that is a good idea because like I was mentioning earlier, one of the biggest challenges is getting full range of motion. If the bar's on the ground, you have to be at just the right height for your arms to be fully extended. But if you do it this way, he's using the plyo box as a rack. He pulls it off the plyo box and then has full range of motion. That is, it's pretty ideal. That's a good idea. Same with this one. He's using J cups on a power rack to rack and re-rack the bar, which is a good idea, although still sketchy as hell because he's got a bench stacked on two other benches. It's just madness, dude. All right, so I like this one. At least it's padding. So if you fall and you slam your face, you're slamming your face on pads. Uh, it's not as bad. Also, this guy's super funny. This one I love much more secure. I was inspired by this one and I actually made basically the same thing. I added padding to the top of mine. I added some holes in mine so I could throw in hitch pins. You're on top of spotter arms. As long as your rack is fully secured, you're not going anywhere. That's, it's a good design. I love this thing so much, I'm sitting on it right now as I shoot this video. And every podcast I do and every, every time I'm sitting, in this little station right here, I'm sitting on my seal row bench. So this one is beefy. It's like way beefier than the one I made. It's wider, it's got multiple two by four supports. It's not going anywhere. It's definitely one of the safest ones that I've seen so far. At first glance, this one looks like it's the same kind of uh, like DIY bench like I did. But no, dude, this guy just straight up took a flat bench and laid it across his safeties. <laughs> Great idea, such a good idea. I wanna go back to the people at the beginning of this video and show them this. So you can basically do the board across the safeties and just buy a replacement bench pad and use that if you don't wanna upholster your own. It's pretty easy and it'll save you a ton of time. Now here we go with some safe, efficient, Seal rows, man. This bro does a ton of hacks with lever arms, and this one is pretty clever. I don't even know what he's using for handles, but it looks nice, nice neutral grip. I bet that feels good. All right, here's Pendergraph doing his version of a lever arm seal row. What I like about this one is it is safe, man. Like, he's not gonna fall. He's secure in the rack. You lift until your heart's content. If you fail, no harm, no foul. So the downside is it takes forever to set up and you die, I guess, when at the end of it. Okay, bench on an incline, weights on the ground, pull the lever arms up, there you go. That's pretty simple and it looks pretty effective. Kind of a cross between a bulldog hack because it's not like a full bench that he's laying on, but it is chest supported. He's got his feet up on a bench and I do like how he's able to unrack and re-rack the barbell. And the only time I've seen anything like this before, it's interesting, probably takes a minute to set up. Bro, this guy is utilizing a trap bar like I've never seen before. It's awesome, look at that. The hollowness of the trap bar is the perfect size for a couple of bar stools. The only thing this is missing is some padding, because I bet that hurts just laying your chest on there. 
getting into some professional builds right now. Looks like this is some uh, parallel bars with uh, maybe a two by 12 across the top. This is nice and clean. It looks really good. And uh, yeah, Yuri makes some really amazing stuff, man. He's like one of my favorites. More of a hack than a DIY, but man, I love how those arms drop back after he pulls the barbell out. That is really, really clever. And then just using like a rogue utility bench, super, super smart, dude. This thing is basically a rogue seal row bench without like being an official rogue seal row bench. It's all rogue parts. I like the drink spotter on the top. Using the Angles 90s handles with a straight bar is a really clever hack to get that extra range of motion. Rack and unrack, so good. These people are awesome, give them a follow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.